today I'm shopping for a Jeep. So let's see what my options are. No, that's too small. Let's see what else we got. This one's better, but not what I'm looking for. Well, I know I said bigger, but this isn't even radio controlled. So one more time. Now this is what I was talking about. It is the Axial STX6 Jeep Wrangler, and we're gonna take it out on the trails today and see what all it can do. want to stick around you like my channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it lets me know what kind of content you guys like and also hit that bell when uh, you get a chance because then you'll be notified when I upload so you'll never miss the video now on to what you all came for so like I said we're exploring the Axial SCX6 Jeep Wrangler which was released on October 14th of 2021 so as you can see, it's a pretty good size, isn't it? It comes in weighing about 25 pounds. So you can imagine the thing is not fun to carry when it dies on the trail. <laughs> you definitely don't wanna be like a mile from the truck and have this thing die on you because it's just not fun. It is considered a rock crawler, but in my personal opinion, I think it exceeds expectations on the trails. Um, I really like it for trail runs. I tend to use a little, um, different of a car like either my Gladiator or my TRX4 Sport. I, I typically use those more for rock crawling, but on the trails, this thing blows your mind. But it does have some crawling capabilities, so don't count it out just yet. But it's not, in my opinion, the most capable crawler. A cool feature that it has that not many cars do is it has a easy to get to power switch. Comment down below if you guys have this vehicle or if it's on your wish list. It was on my wish list for a very long time and then my dad and I actually went in halves on it because the price tag. So let's just get the price tag out of the way because I keep mentioning it. <laughs> it is $1,099, yeah. That is a shock at first, but when you see what this thing can do and the size and everything, the price seems to not seem so unfair and maybe I'm late to the party or just didn't even think about it. Apparently Axial has a long-term partnership with Jeep which explains all the Jeep bodies like the Gladiator, the 10th scale, the 24th scale, now the 6th scale. So yeah I didn't know that and I just thought that was a very informational piece interesting to throw out to you guys. So like I said the price is $1,099. It's not cheap haw huh? but no one ever said this was a cheap hobby and in my opinion in life you get what you pay for so you know it, it is a good car so speaking of the price let me show you guys what you get for it because I think it is a very nice car I'm glad I have it in my collection and yeah let me show you guys what you get for the price So they really throw around the word realistic and I would say they did not disappoint. Even though it is a six scale, it still fits conveniently in places like, you know, your truck, the trunk of your car. Unless you have a smart car, it's probably not going to fit in there, but otherwise you're good. If you don't have a smart car or a motorcycle or something, you're probably okay. This car is almost 33 and a half by 15 inches and it also has an almost 20 inch wheelbase. So yeah, it's big. <laughs> I would say this car is a class all in its own. It's also complete with the cowboy, as you guys know that I really like that. I like me some cowboys. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> One thing I wish Axial would start doing is putting a little dog in the passenger seat because every cowboy needs a dog. And so if you work for Axial and you have an in, could you pitch that at the next meeting? Because that would be great. <laughs> 
the Jeep comes in the colors green and silver, but if neither of those are your color, you can pick up a clear body for around 130 bucks. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys would choose for a color if you could. We all know my color would be pink, but let me know what your guys would be. And speaking of the body, it clips in underneath just like the 10 scale and the Gladiator is the bane of my existence, but you know, it does add to the realistic effect. Um, I have heard that you can do some upgrades, to, you know, not make it so difficult. I have not chose to do that on any of my vehicles yet, just because it does look really realistic. It's ready to run, but just like normally, you need to uh, pick up a charger and a battery for it. It takes 3S, but I have heard people run it on 4S. Um, I just choose to do 3S because that's what it is recommended. And keep in mind, if you're not using a Spectrum battery, you won't have the battery level indicator on the controller. But if you are using a Spectrum battery, which I highly advise you should, just because, like I said earlier, you do not want to be carrying this thing back to the truck. It has a 4.25 inch ground clearance, so it's got a good height to get over things. You should be able to hit the trails with no worries. It's got a 1200 kb censored motor, which just adds to smoother handling. They took the SCX3 chassis design and just kind of scaled it up for the 6, which I appreciate and I know a lot of other people appreciated it because there's not really any complaints about the chassis on the 10, so I really like that they carried that to the 6. And speaking of the chassis, they have a great steering servo installed, but it is optional if you would like to upgrade to a one-fifth steering servo it will fit in there with the uh, included optional adapter it is four-wheel drive and it also has two speeds high and low but keep in mind if you are running high wide open uh, your battery will go down fast and faster and you really want to pay attention to that because I just keep saying it over and over again you don't want to be carrying this thing back to the truck it is not fun it's it's fun to carry for about three feet <laughs> It's equipped with seven inch tall BF Goodrich KM3 tires and they are mounted on the Black Rhino Prim 3P speed block wheels. So no gluing, yay. Um, they have excellent grip out of the box. If you wanted to, they make these tires called the Interco Swampers or Super Swamper 2.9s, um, which are also a good tire for it. But the tires that are stocked on it have pretty good grip and everything too. So it's like, you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to, but it is an option. And much like the 10 scale, it has the Spectrum DX3 radio. So it has the thumb steering, the battery level indicator, and it's just super nice. I really, really like that radio. Okay, sorry, I had to leave from my spot and now I'm like looking into the sun. So I look weird. So the Jeep has a replica V8 engine cover and I just think that's super cool and it really adds to the realistic effect. It just, in my opinion, it, it looks great on it. Another thing they took from the SCX 10 3 is the three link front and the four link rear suspension, which just adds to handling and performance. One thing to also keep in mind is it does not have portal axles. So it did not handle this terrain right here, as well as a car with portal axles probably would have handled it, but it still is an okay crawler. It has amazing headlights and tail lights, so night crawling, no problem. It's really a fun time out there. You can see just about everything, depending on where you are, of course. A really, really nice thing is it has adjustable dual battery trays, and that's great, but you can fit two batteries in with a Y harness. And again, I highly recommend that just because if you are out, don't realize how far you've gotten from your truck or whatnot, you have two batteries so you can, you know, pretty much make sure it's not going to die on you. So I highly recommend doing that with the Y harness. So like I mentioned earlier, um, I, I do love this car. I wouldn't say it's the most capable crawler uh, but it does crawl, but for me, it's more of like a trail kind of car, um, which is great too, but it, it does have some crawling capabilities. Some upgrades that you could do for this car is a spare tire carrier mount, which looks super cool. I'll insert a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I would love to do that one day because it just, it adds even more realism. 
A good upgrade for the wheels would be the Trio 2.9 beadlock wheels and I love that they come in all the different colors and I'll have all these upgrades linked below. You can obviously put on body accessories like the sand ladders and you know like the little gas tank things. I can't recall what they are called right this minute but yeah you can do things like that. Um, you can get new bumpers like upgraded bumpers for it, D-rings for the bumpers. There's a lot of possibilities for upgrades. Um, but out of the box, it is great. There's no need to upgrade it. But you know, some people like to upgrade things. They get enjoyment out of that. If you are upgrading, keep in mind the price of the vehicle and that kind of carries over into the upgrades a little bit. So it's a little pricier than normal to upgrade this one, but uh, it's still doable. It's not crazy or anything. So my closing thoughts on this car is a lot of people like it i like it a lot of people recommend it but like i said earlier the price throws a lot of people off but like i said before you get what you pay for so you know paying a higher price you're going to get a little more from the vehicle for how much time and effort they put into this i really wouldn't say the price is that unfair it just it, it looks like a scary price but i wouldn't say it's that unfair just because of how much time and care they took to uh, really make this car. And in my opinion, they pretty much took the best from the SCX 10 threes and just scaled it up to a six scale size. So that concludes today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And if you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button because like I said earlier, that just lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you'll get notified every time I upload. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.